Hi, I am Revant. This is part 4 of Web Services video series. In this session, we will understand bindings in web service. Important synopsis we will understand in this video are why bindings are required, types of bindings, creation of proxy with bindings. Let's begin the tutorial. If you haven't watched the previous videos, I recommend to watch before proceeding these videos. In part 1, I have discussed introduction to ASP.NET web services. In part 2, consuming web service. In part 3, error handling in web service. Why bindings are required? Bindings are required to communicate with the web service. Binding defines way to connect web service to an endpoint location for execution. Web service supports these ports, simple object access protocol, SOAP, HTTP POST and HTTP GET. By default, web services uses basic HTTP binding. Here the user can be able to communicate with the web service through the client application by using these bindings. So bindings are required to communicate with the web service. So bindings defines the location or the endpoint the web service is located for the execution of the code. Types of bindings TCP binding, WS dual binding, web binding, MSMQ binding, federated WS binding, peer network binding, MSMQ integrated binding and uh, net TCP binding etc. So binding it allows us to specify SOAP specific details like SOAP header, SOAP encoding styles and SOAP action, SOAP header like the tax SOAP binding, SOAP operation, SOAP body. Creation of proxy with bindings. When client consumes the web service through an URL by adding service reference, client can able to create the proxy classes. In later video section, we will understand in great detail how to create a proxy classes. Let's we look into the code how these bindings get invoked. This client application is created in the previous videos. If you haven't watched, I recommend to watch before proceeding this video. In this video, we already consumed the web service. Once we consume the web service, system.service model bindings get invoked. So this is the behavior bindings and the client binding look at the binding there is basic HTTP binding and uh, client this endpoint tag address binding binding configuration contract and the name we will understand more detailly what is the address binding and binding configuration how to create this endpoints in the latter video session thanks for watching for references and resources visit these links and subscribe to my youtube channel for email alerts thank you